hey, we got a brand new model at Gladiator Designs. You guys should have a lot of fun printing this one. So for those of you that remember the skeleton's coffin I did for Halloween, this is a spin on that for Groundhog Day. It says Phil's forecast. And when you push the, the little red button here, boom, <laughs> hi Phil. There we go. Now, does he see his shadow or not? Um, I'm not gonna be the judge of that one, but uh, you can load him back up in here. Maybe go have your friends uh, decide whether he sees his shadow or not. There we go. He goes back down in there like that. The doors close. And just like the skeleton coffin, this one's going to need a, a number four rubber band that goes at the bottom here. You're gonna stretch it between those two posts. This model prints in place, guys. This is really cool. It's gonna print with the doors open just like this. Now, obviously, Phil in there, he's gonna have to print separately. He actually comes out unlike the skeleton uh, that I made that was just stuck in the in the uh, coffin. Yeah, Phil's gonna print on his back just like this. And when you get him printed, put your rubber band on this guy. He fits in his little, little bed there. You can put him to sleep, close the doors, and when you push the red button, boink, <laughs> Phil pops out. There we have it. Hope you guys enjoy this model. I had a lot of fun making this one as usual. We're having a lot of fun playing with it. Now, I, I guess one more, one more thing to mention. This will print, this model is printed at 60%. So 100% full scale model. It will print on an Ender 3 and uh, it'll fit on there. It's pretty big though. It's gonna take quite a bit of filament and quite a bit of time to print. So you can scale it down. I'd recommend 80 or even 60%. It's pretty tiny, but it does print and it does operate really well. All right, goodbye, Phil. I'm gonna put you back in there. Thanks, guys.